As a Salesforce admin, user, or developer, we've all encountered dashboards. A dashboard is more than just a collection of charts and graphs. It's a dynamic tool that enables you to visualize key metrics and trends, helping users make informed decisions for success. In this video, we'll explore over 10 tips and tricks to leverage the full potential of Salesforce dashboards. First is to improve Salesforce dashboard adoption. Do you ever feel like your meticulously crafted dashboards are gathering dust? Underutilized and unnoticed, despite matching requirements perfectly, it is not uncommon to wonder why no one seems to engage with your dashboards. We have identified some reasons behind this dashboard dilemma. First is that it's hard for users to locate the dashboards. For example, a lack of naming conventions or folder access and other things. Next is poor quality data that causes errors. Aside from that, there probably isn't enough documentation on your dashboards. There will be too much analytical noise in the air if admins don't purge dashboards. For more information on improving dashboard adoption, check out the article down in the description. Next is using interactive fillers. Lightning dashboards enable users to tailor their own views according to their specific needs. Consider this scenario. A director is overseeing teams across different countries. Now the director can use interactive filters to transition between different country teams. This way, it's effortless to do visual comparisons of team performances, which can help with decision-making and a deeper understanding of global operations within the organization. This clip uses a test dashboard that can filter content according to region and role. Before we go any further, I'd like to say a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Pipe Launch. Have you struggled to get your users to adopt Salesforce? Are they complaining about lack of data and no real reason to log in every day? Pipe Launch enriches your data, connects to LinkedIn, and provides automatic insights about each company in your org. Try it out with a free trial at salesforceben.com forward slash data. Next is Stacked Summaries. Using stacked summaries, users can condense wide ranges of datasets for quicker review and comparison. For example, stacked summaries make it easier when showcasing the total amount of opportunities per owner per stage. As you can see here, enabling the stacked summaries gives this information within a single cell. The sample data I have in this org are all owned by Awesome Admin, so here's a sample image from an org with opportunities owned by different people. Next is dynamic gauge charts. Don't underestimate the gauge chart. I know we are all familiar with the standard gauge chart where the gauge updates to reflect how the measure of record count from the underlying report compares to the ranges that you have defined. Now the dynamic gauge chart, on the other hand, is best in illustrating your proximity to a specific numeral or a financial target. Compared to the standard mode where segment ranges are denoted numerically, the dynamic mode shows target segments as percentages. It therefore allows you to compare a report metric with a numeric field from a record. Next is dashboard dark mode. Each dashboard component can be set to light or dark mode, and it can be a trick used to draw the viewer's attention. This is not limited to just light and dark colors though. You can even set up a different color palette depending on how you want to draw user attention to specific data. First, you need the permission to change dashboard colors. This is automatically enabled for the system admin, but in case you want to give this capability to other users, you can assign them a permission set. The permission is change dashboard colors under system permissions. From the dashboard settings, you can set the theme to light or dark or choose from a selection of dashboard color palettes. Next is to build an admin daily dashboard. Enhance your effectiveness as a Salesforce admin by crafting a personalized dashboard. It will show you what is happening in your org and keep you up to date as well. For example, imagine being an admin and having a dashboard that can answer the following questions like, do we have enough licenses? Is there anything in Salesforce that might cost us more money? Are we getting the best ROI possible out of Salesforce? Now here are suggested components to add to your admin daily dashboard. 
licenses used or licenses purchased, active users or number of employees, API calls, community logins, as well as community login trending. Extend reports on dashboard limits. Now, dynamic dashboards are a great way to present important data to Salesforce users that allow you to maintain your organization's sharing rules. However, there are limits to the number of dynamic dashboards that you can have depending on the edition of the Salesforce org that you're using. Now, if users in your org are allowed to create their own reports and dashboards, it is very, very easy to reach this limit. So it's important to know what dashboards are available in your org and which ones need to go. Luckily, there is a hack available for you to try out. As you can see, the end result shows all the dashboards in your org along with more info. This way, you know who the running user is, whether or not it is still actively being used, and more. Now, this makes it easier to identify which of your dashboards can already be removed and therefore avoiding reaching your org's limits. Next is URL hacking for Salesforce dashboards. Now, URL hacking is a capability that can be used on both reports and dashboards. This allows presetting filters for a report or a dashboard using the URL, eliminating the need for duplicating or replicating. Now, technically, this is not supported by Salesforce, but it is very useful. This clip shows an example on how to automatically open a report with open opportunities by account using a link, which can also be done to dashboards. Now, next is printing Salesforce dashboards. How often have you found yourself needing to print a Salesforce dashboard for meeting materials? Or perhaps you've wanted to download a component of a dashboard to include as an image in a presentation or attach it to an email? Downloading a Salesforce dashboard is a breeze. With just a simple click, you can create a PNG file of your entire dashboard. Next is account-based engagement dashboards. Marketing and sales departments are often siloed, performance metrics aren't aligned, or simply not part of the daily workflow and discussion. That is where account-based marketing and account-based engagement dashboards come in. A solid dashboard establishes the metrics that matter between teams. For both of these, the prerequisite is to have an ABM or ABE tier formula on your account object. Now, the key to these dashboards is the dashboard filter. For your ABM dashboard, reference the ABM tier. For the ABE dashboard, it is recommended to filter by account owner, ABM tier, and account type to identify prospect versus customer. And last is simple Pardot grading dashboard in Salesforce. Pardot grading is an incredible feature for organizations to have set up because grading sheds light on lead quality, wherein the previously subjective dimension of quality is finally quantified. First, start with a report on leads with a value on Pardot grade. Next, create bucket fields to group the letter grades. Create your dashboard component using chart settings from your report and add groupings and columns as needed. You define your grading framework specific to your business priorities. With free reign and a subjective measurement, having a report and dashboard for this demonstrates that marketing teams are contributing quality leads to the pipeline. And that's it. I hope this guide was able to help equip you with the knowledge and tools needed to harness the full potential of dashboards in Salesforce. There is a wealth of possibilities to explore within this out-of-the-box feature. By mastering it, you'll definitely enhance your ability to visualize and interpret key data within your organization. Do you have any other dashboard tips and tricks? Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on Salesforce. And just before you go, we thought we'd mention that for the whole month of July, you can get 25% off all Sales Suspend courses. So if you've been looking for an opportunity to try our courses out, head over to courses.salesforcespend.com to make the most of this deal.